Okay, welcome back. Last time what we did is we had this idle pose where our character looked around and blinked a little bit. What we're going to do is start from here and create a new file and call it save as. We're going to call it last name character run dot pistol. Of course, the number is your period. We're going to hit save. Uh, yes, I'm you're not going to have that problem. But now what I'm going to do is take all of these images and I'm going to delete them by pressing the little trash can in the upper top corner. I'm not going to delete this first file. I'm going to leave that one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this frame. <clears throat> I want to make sure that I have this frame for starts. So I'm going to take the eraser and I'm going to erase out everything that's not the original apple. I just want the body. So I'm getting rid of all the legs on frame two, right? I'm just trying to get down to the original apple look. Okay, so now that I've got my basic shape, for you, this may end up being just like a, a simple sort of understanding of like where your body's going to be, right? Hold shift when I move this up by a bit and hit enter. I think that looks better already. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good. All right, so now we've got just the apple. Okay, and I can even put a little, like this little shine down here and then we're good to go so um so we've got our apple in his in his pose without his arm and leg so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to think about um i'm going to add uh, a frame here and think about where his arm will be if his arm if his front facing leg so if the leg that's closest to you is on this side so if his leg here is pointing back here oops gotta don't forget he's got a knee right so there's my foot there's my knee and there's my leg okay then the back foot would be sort of here and then knee and then up like that right so the arm let's do it in a different color the arm and i'm going to delete all this in a second the shoulder itself used to be back here but now as we rotate we're going to make sure, hopefully you can see me, it's like we're rotating our shoulders. So that means the shoulder that used to start there can actually start up here. So we can move this forward like this and even cover up some of his face so that we know, hey, his arm is moving like that, okay? And then the back arm will be somewhere behind him so we don't need to worry about that. So with that said, I'm gonna delete all those pieces and start thinking about where or how I can start filling that out so I'm just going to use red for now I'm going to come down like this because this is where his knee is going to be here and then I'm going to move maybe an exaggerated leg out like that so it's really sticking out right like that and we might be able to like use the black to sort of highlight that now the other leg is going to have to be forward. Now we know that the knee comes here, so it's probably going to come down like this, right? And then also be up in the air a little bit like that. Okay. Now the arm itself, we said before, is going to come much closer. As a matter of fact, his whole body will twist as an apple since his shoulders and his head are basically uh, the same. I can actually take this, I'm gonna grab this piece, hold shift, drag it over by one. I'm gonna take his eyeballs and all this, hold shift, move it over by one so that his whole body is rotated a little bit. And that will also give me a idea of where his legs will, or where his arms will now be. I'll fill this in real quick. So we rotated that over. We might have to adjust some of this as well. Maybe some something like that. Oops. Red. There. So we're moving that a little bit too. All right? Maybe a little of that.
going. So now, from this position, we also need to think about the arms. Now, if the, the facing, if the leg that's closest to you is facing back, then the shoulders are rotating forward, which is why our head has gone from here to here. As the shoulder moves forward, we can move that arm up and it needs to be extended and bent. So let's think about that. So before our arm started back here, but now we're going to start at like two pixels in front. Okay, and we're just going to outline roughly where we want it. Now I'm going to basically put it right where I think it should go. Like that. And once again, we got to worry about the, the thickness of it. Okay. Maybe a little bit bigger like that. And now even I can start with the apple color. All right. See, it goes from a thick arm to a thinner arm. That's not okay. So we need to adjust that a little bit. I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to swap to my apple color and fill that in. I don't like this color problem here that we have the C going on. I might sort of fill that in with that. <coughs> and now maybe even put one more black edge up here. Yeah, and then fill it in with red there. Now it feels like it's almost, it still feels like it needs a little more weight, a little thickness. Uh, let's do this. And yeah, it's covering up his eyeball. And now we've got kind of this issue here, but I think we'll be okay because what we're going to do is we're going to highlight his shoulder here, right? Because the sun's coming from this direction or our light is coming from this direction, which also we can highlight that part. And then we can give a little darkness underneath because now he's shaded underneath. And now we've got that working. Now his other arm will be behind him. So we don't need to worry about that one. Okay, so now what we need to do is take the other leg and move it back. So if this back facing leg moves back, right, and then our shoulders rotate the opposite. So our arm is going to move back and then our other leg is going to move forward. So this leg used to be in the back. Now it's going to have to move forward, which means this dark line will be back here. So let's go ahead and look at that. Once again, we're going to sort of, I'm going to black out this section here for the apple itself there. And then I'm going to put this back where it was. I'm going to hit E for eraser and I'm going to increase it with the, uh, the curly bracket from before. Make sure I have just the apple. <clears throat> now I'm doing the opposite of my, my most, my position, but oh, I'm erasing the wrong thing. Okay, so we have this leg back, this arm forward, the other leg behind us. So now what I want to do is jump, skip the between phase, and do the other extreme pose, all right? Which will be the, f the facing shoulder back, which means his head, his whole body will turn more. So we're going to go further than we started. And then his far arm is going to move forward. Okay, so let's think about that. So
Okay, so right now we have this three frame cycle. All we need to do is take this one and duplicate it and put it in between the other two. So now we have a little bit of a run cycle. Now, realistically, we're using the same frame, this one and three twice, but that's okay. It's good enough, all right? So now we've got the basic cycle. We need it to really sort of have more of an impact, right? It needs to run. Right now, he doesn't move up and down at all, and that's no good. So we need to get him to move up and down. Now, you're always going to move your ups and downs. Your, your lowest point will be during your stride, right? If you, you take, you, as you cross, you're high, and then as you land, you're going to be low. So what we need to do is take all of this and move it down. All right, so there we go. We've got a walk cycle. So now what you're going to do is start thinking about the next thing. So let's say his his walk is going or his run is going to be really like we're going to make sure he's he's you know focused. I don't know, you know, angry or whatever. So let's fill in that secondary action. So we know it's a run. Right now it's sort of a happy run because he was happy before. But remember exaggeration in the whole concept. Maybe he's going to have a really really focused run like maybe he's going to be like focused like we're going to give him like really going to make it so he's super focused Okay, and now we've got the final one, which we don't need to do. We can just trash it, grab this one, and build it, and move it to the top. Yes. So we've got that. We've got that. 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 So, the eyebrows stay the same? They do. Eyes and the eyebrows stay the same. So now we have a very focused and serious run. The only thing left I would say that we should add is overlapping action. Not everybody's going to have overlapping action, but when you do, what you want to do is make sure that you're flopping that bit around. So we've got a leaf. So that's where our overlapping action is going to be. Remember, overlapping action is other things that move, where secondary action is like a way to add acting and character to an actual motion. So all I'm really going to do is when our legs are spread, I'm going to leave it like this, where it's sort of up in the air. But when our we're moving this way, I'm actually going to do this once because I'm going to take this and move it down a little bit like that. That looks good. So let's take our crossing pose. Crossing pose. There we go. There we go. So we've got secondary action. We've got a growly face. And now we are done with our character. Once again, we're going to save this as a pistol file. Call it last name underscore character run with your period at the very beginning. Save as. And we're going to character run. I'm going to call mine character run end. 
save okay and you're done now you can turn it in uh hopefully you enjoyed this uh so that's pretty great now you've got a run cycle we'll see you next time